Hey guys, it's Lisa. I got a commission piece that um, somebody liked one of my wall art um, things, my rounds, and wanted to turn it into a Lazy Susan, but because I have rocks and crystals going through it, it wouldn't work. So, this is the first piece that I'm going to try to recreate. It's got color shifting. It goes from greens to blues to purples. So, I have to try to recreate this on an 18 inch Lazy Susan for her. So, I, uh, so far I've just ooh, prepped the back, taped it up, because I'm going to leave it wood on the back. And I have so far just put one coat of sealer on it. So I'm going to seal this a couple more times before I start the process. But... A little nervous on trying to recreate because you guys know that resin does what resin wants to do. So, this is the plan. So, wish me luck. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. It's Lisa. I am back for the second part of my commission piece. Um, not sure how this is going to turn out, but I am using stone coat, a countertop epoxy because this is going to be a lazy Susan um, I'm using mixes of some colors from a company called color tech and they are the chromo shift chromo shift pigments and uh, chameleon pigments. So the first one is the Chroma Shift Green Blue. The other one is a mix of the Blue Violet Chroma Shift and the Magic Blue Chameleon. And then the White Pearl color that I'm using is a mix of the color tech um, chameleon golden green blue mixed with the Lorez pigment powder Milky Way which is um, it's got a green type of interference with it so I have my resin mixed up. I just need to uh, pour it in the cups and mix them up. The base color is going to be this white right here. Um. darker blue all right so these are powders 
So you need to mix slow so that you don't get a big poof up in the air. So this has got like a blue-purple type of tinge to it. It's called Magic Blue. This one is the green-blue-purple chameleon. this much but I have too much uh, pigment in this so I needed to put more resin in it otherwise it was just gonna seize up on me all right so this one goes the blue, green, purple. It's pretty. Not sure that that's the color I'm looking for though. It's kind of a wide cup. <laughs> okay, and this is a pearl. Wow, that's pretty. Those two mixes of colors, you can really see that Lorez Milky Way in there. Okay, so as I said, this is a commissioned piece. Um, I have to try to recreate This piece is the one we're trying to do. So I'm thinking this would be eh, close. All right. So our first coat is going to be just getting the pearl and the blues and stuff down. So Might not need this much but it's better to have too much than not enough so not enough resin in the middle of a project then all right 
chance to do this or start to do it. <laughs> this is going to be a few different layers, so it'll be some piece together videos. To get the whole thing. Okay. I always get nervous when I have commission piece, but then it usually ends up turning out okay. But this one I kind of have to recreate, so it's a little bit different. So I'm just going to put some of this clear around it. Just to have a lot of times you put clear in with like your base coat then you get different dimensions and depths of the colors and stuff and because I had it and I don't want to waste it because it's expensive okay Wipe my hand. I'm gonna heat this up. This is gonna be one second to put my mask on. Okay. Whoops. Alright, I'm just going to heat this up just a bit so I can spread it around better. chilly in my basement so the resin always moves a lot better when it's heated up so I'm just going to spread this all over the whole board I don't care about the sides just yet I want to get it whoo look at that sparkle that's so pretty The tints of green that you see in there, that's that Lorez Milky Way, it's called. Alright. Now, I did prime this like four times. So hopefully... It ends up being okay and don't have a bunch of air bubbles popping through. Alright, so now I'm just coating the sides here. Just because this will help when the blue gets to the edges to go over freely.
had some really dark wood. I probably should have put a coat of paint on. <laughs> All right. I'm going to strip off one pair of gloves. I'm going to torch the bubbles out of it. Well, I'm wondering if I should stop and spray this. Hmm. Oh well. Paint's already mixed, right? So the blue will most likely cover it up, but I might end up having to do another coat of it outside, on the outside. Alright, so let's just add some color. We can always come in and do another coat, which I'm going to have to do. Like I said in the beginning, probably three or four coats anyway.
Sorry for the silence, guys. I'm just thinking. And I have my mask on, so when I talk, <laughs> it ends up fogging up my glasses. <laughs> so. And I don't know how to do a voiceover yet, so still working on that. Alright, I'm going to heat this up. Watch your ears. I'm just going to kind of blend them together. So I'll go up so that it feathers through that. And then I'll come down so that it feathers through the light blue too. And you don't want to stick your heat gun in your resin, like I just did. So this one I'm just going to kind of like feather the darker into the lighter and all the way around. Kind of like that. Just so that you can see. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to feather this dark line. Over. And then because it crosses, I'm going to go the other way. this one out this way. See how it's mixing in with the clear that I poured on? Okay, so this will be the first coat. Which seems like a pretty good start.
minus two. I don't know what that is. Damn it. What the hell is it? Uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. like little pieces of uh, glitter. Oh, well, that'll all be covered up. Well, the most of it will be. I don't like that line that I just made. I soften that up a bit. All right, guys, so here is the first coat of it. I'll clean up the sides and stuff after you're off camera. I know. Sometimes the videos get a little bit long. All right. Oops. So, well, you know what? Let me take you off the camera. Hang on. Okay. So you can still see the wood, and that's fine because it's, like I said, it's just the the first coat. And then the next coat is going to be more of the blue, and then we're going to add some silver in there, and more of the white. So, I will uh, see you guys after this dries. See you then. Hey guys, I did not film the whole making of my uh, Lazy Susan um, color changing replica <laughs> commission piece. Um, in the first video I showed you the one that I had to try to replicate. Uh, I didn't get exact, but I think I did get close. Hopefully she will be happy with it. Um, but the reason I didn't film it all is because I really needed to just concentrate on the art and concentrate on getting everything right because you know how hard it is to replicate but um, in the original piece that dark gray there was where the line of stones went so I can't really put stones on a lazy Susan so um, but yeah like I said I didn't get it Exact. Hopefully she likes it. And I just have to let it cure for a few weeks before I can send it out. And, uh, yeah. So I'm happy with it. I think it came out pretty good. So, again, sorry I didn't film the whole thing, but I really did just have to concentrate instead of trying to talk my way through it and get lost in words instead of lost in the art. So, 
My lines are a little bit different on this one, but it just needed, because it didn't have the stones in it, I thought that it just needed, like, some extra lines. But yeah, I, uh, I'm digging it. See how it'll change colors? Kind of looks brown. And then it goes from blues to kind of greens. That is the Color Tech. Um, Color Tech Chameleon and Chroma Shift pigments. See how it's getting like teal? Yeah, that's all the same color. Looks like two different colors blues there, but it's not. All right, so hopefully she likes it. If not, then I'll just have to put it up for sale. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.